So this question is a translate word problem question. We can see that just really easily by how long the question is. And all that means again is I definitely want to translate as I read, so actively read the question instead of reading the entire thing and slipping into um, solution mode, find the answer mode without fully understanding what I read. So here's the question. A researcher conducted a survey to determine whether people in a certain large town prefer watching sports on television to attending the sporting event. All right, so survey was conducted, nothing to write down there. The researcher asked 117 people who visited a local restaurant on a Saturday. Okay, so 117 people. And seven people who refused to respond. Okay, so seven people. So 117 were asked. 17, I'm sorry, seven people refused. Okay, which of the following factors makes it least likely that a reliable conclusion can be drawn about the sports watching preferences of all people in the town? Well, so this is a weird question, right? So we're not truly doing anything quantitatively here. We do know that 117 people were approached or asked. Uh, seven people did not respond. So, right, we only got 110 people responded. And we have this weird information about it being on a Saturday and it being at a local restaurant, right? Um, and that the survey was to conduct or was conducted to figure out people's preferences on watching sports on television versus a live um, sporting event. So let's look at the answer choices. So anytime I feel like the question is not truly um, quantitative or that the information provided doesn't truly get to the point of the answer, I just go to the answer choices, which give me a huge hint on how I should uh, be approaching this. So the first answer says sample size, which starts to give me a hint that this is really about you know how you conduct a survey and how you can trust the results of a survey. So sample size, right? So the sample size is not large. I mean, I don't know how many people are in the town. Maybe, maybe there are only 117 people in town. We're not given that. But I think that, you know, sample size could be a potential answer here because 110 people responding or even 117 people asked is not a huge number. Choice B is population size. Well, there's nothing about this question that gives us any data about the entire population of the town. So I'm gonna have to cross that out. Right. Um, yeah, so so the question asks, which of the following factors makes it least likely? Well, we don't, population size is not a factor because we weren't given it. So choice C, the number of people who refuse to respond. So seven people refuse to respond. You know, truly, you know, seven refusing out of 117 asked, that's pretty good. That's not the majority of people. That's a minority of people who were asked who refused to respond. So I don't think that that would make it less reliable. And then lastly, where the survey was given. Well, where was this survey given? The survey was given at a local restaurant. Um, all right, so it seems like this question's answer is between A and D as my 50-50 here. So I'm using some of my skills from the reading and the writing section on the math section here. And what I'm liking, because it makes it least likely, so anytime I see this term least, that means there's probably two good answers like we have here, sample size is probably a good answer, as well as where the survey was given is a good answer. But which one is the least likely, right? So I would have to say that um, it has to be where the survey was given, right? Because the question is asking about the sports watching preferences of all people in town, of everyone. And all the only people you're approaching no matter how many people there are, if there were a thousand people at that restaurant, you're only approaching people who happen to be at this restaurant on a Saturday. And these people by no means can speak for the entire town, right? So again, the sample size, as, mo as much as I think it might be low, could actually be a good sample size because I don't know the population size. I don't know the size of the town. So given that, I'd say that D is a better answer than A, although A is... You know, A is a decent answer, but D is a better answer, again, because how do I trust my information about the entire town if 
I'm gathering that information from a single location in that town. 